It's a fairly flamboyant promise. Do you make it because you know you'll never have to follow through? <laughs> no, I make it because I fully expect to be able to. OK, so in trying to turn it over, who are you relying on vote-wise? Well, whoever we are in government with. I mean, I think... Well, the answer's Labour and they're not going to do it. Well, they haven't said that they, have, they won't. And it's important for Sky City and uh, to, for Sky City especially to know that they, if they think they have protection, they are mistaken. Well, they do to the extent that Labour would have come out yesterday and said, yep, we'll flip it too if they were going to, which they're not. Well, they haven't said that they're not going to do it. So we get to see what's going to happen. This will be a negotiating point that we discuss with Labour. Should we be in that position? Would it be make or break for you on that? No, we won't have. We don't have any bottom lines these days. It's very 2005. So you know, all of our issues will be on the table. Okay. So, so just just work me through this then. The scenario: you get to government, you yep. manage to overturn it. You're up for hundreds of millions of dollars in compensation. You'll end up in court one way or the other. You still no. want a convention centre. No. How are you paying for that? No, no, you don't need. You don't need to end up in court. So if you follow the West Coast Accord example, you simply legislate to remove the compensation right of the company. Now, that's a very extreme measure, but that is what would be necessary because the okay. ICD deal gives them compensation for 35 years of life. I understand that. So the $400 million for your convention centre, where are you getting the money for that? Well, I think that um, government should do the kind of deal that they're doing for the Queenstown Convention Centre, which is government puts in some money, the local council puts in some money, the businesses in that area who will benefit, put in some money. You know, if this if this convention centre is genuinely of economic benefit to the country as a whole, then we can find creative ways to fund it where everybody puts in a little bit to make that make it happen. 